The purpose of this video is to explain our resolutions process, which are the ultimate form of grassroots initiatives and serve as the foundational topics for Naugus advocacy on Capitol Hill. Resolutions passed annually at the Naugus Conference are legislative proposals submitted by the states to enhance National Guard equipment, capabilities, and benefits parity, among many other issues. However, the resolutions process is not the only way to influence Naugus advocacy. We regularly work with our task forces, the Adjutants General, Congress, as well as our industry partners. Beginning at the grassroots level, a resolution starts as an idea developed by a Naugus member at the state level or as a task force priority. Every fall, winter, and spring, task forces develop advocacy ideas for the upcoming congressional cycle. The task forces are committees of National Guard subject matter experts in their military capacity that work with Naugus legislative staff to provide input on priorities, fact sheets, and resolutions. Task forces fall under Army, Air, and Joint categories and are further broken down within those categories by specific capabilities. There are three types of resolutions. Standing resolutions have already been passed at a Naugus conference and serve as ongoing legislative initiatives for the Naugus legislative staff. Draft resolutions are proposed resolutions that have yet to be voted on at the annual conference. They are either changes or deletions to the standing resolutions or proposals that are not covered by existing resolutions. Draft resolutions need to be passed by the delegates at the annual Naugus conference in order to become standing resolutions. The criteria for submitting draft resolutions are established in the Naugus Resolutions SOP handbook, which can be found on our website. The Resolutions SOP requires submission of draft resolutions to Naugus by July 1 every year. To become a standing resolution, they need to be passed with at least 51% of the vote at the corresponding Joint, Army, or Air Resolutions Committee meetings at Naugus Conference, then by the entire conference as a whole. To submit draft resolutions to Naugus, state association presidents, executive directors, or resolutions chairs must fill in the draft resolutions form found on the Naugus Resolutions webpage by July 1 every year. Draft resolutions must be sponsored by at least one state association. Other states may co-sponsor a resolution indicating their support of a specific initiative at any time leading up to the Naugus Conference. Emergency resolutions are draft resolutions submitted in August between July 1 and July 31 because an emergency situation prevented submission before the July 1 deadline. The resolution's SOP criteria states conditions that did not exist at the time of the sponsoring state's conference or arise from circumstances beyond the control of the sponsoring state qualify as emergencies. Emergency resolutions are held to a higher level of scrutiny both before and at the Naugus conference. Before conference, it is determined if the resolution meets the SOP emergency resolution submission criteria. If it does, then the SOP requires all emergency resolutions to be accepted by the Joint Resolutions Committee with 75% or more of the vote. If that happens, emergency resolutions are then required to pass with 51% or more of the vote at the corresponding Joint Army or Air Committees, as well as by the whole conference to become a standing resolution. Late submission alone does not qualify as an emergency. Industry can and should play an important role in the process. The National Guard relies on the capabilities of our industry partners to ensure the Guard has the best equipment and technology available. Industry should work with the state to make a case that the Guard should procure equipment through the Naugus resolution process. Industry leaders can advise state associations in crafting draft resolutions that identify capabilities and equipment shortfalls. However, Draft resolutions cannot contain specific brand or product references. Submitted draft resolutions must also have a National Guard member listed as the point of contact, not an industry partner. Between January and June, state associations each hold conferences where resolutions are proposed, debated, and then voted on. If approved by the state association conference, the resolution is submitted in August. In July, draft resolutions are then sent to task forces and the National Guard Bureau for comment. Naugus staff post all draft resolutions to the Naugus website. In addition, delegates who vote on draft resolutions at Naugus conference finish reviewing proposed drafts. Each state and territory appoint two voting delegates, one Army and one Air Representative. 
They must understand the draft resolutions and have the responsibility of speaking on all resolutions submitted by their state. At the beginning of NAGAS conference, both delegates from each state or territory participate in the Joint Resolutions Committee to vote on all joint and personnel draft resolutions. After the Joint Committee, the Army delegates from each state meet in the Army Committee to review and vote on Army draft resolutions. The same thing happens on the air side. Although many draft resolutions are considered at the NAGAS conference, not all become standing resolutions. If approved by the Naugus General Conference, a draft resolution becomes a standing resolution. If not, state associations are welcome to resubmit those proposals the following year. Following the Naugus Conference, task forces prioritize standing resolutions and learn of upcoming requirements and, as the fall progresses, the resolution process begins again. To improve the process, Naugus developed a resolutions database for electronic submission and storage of state association approved draft resolutions, as well as to increase efficiency and transparency. Naugus is planning improvements for next year, including allowing every Naugus member to view resolutions from current and past years. On our website, you'll find a specific video that will guide you through our new resolutions database process. Thank you for your interest and participation in the resolutions process. Your continued engagement and advocacy greatly contributes to our legislative successes on Capitol Hill. The Naugus legislative staff is always available to discuss the resolutions process and answer any of your questions you may have throughout the year. Please feel free to reach out to our legislative analyst whose contact information can be found on this slide. For more information about the Naugus resolutions process, the Naugus General Conference, and dates and locations for state association conferences, please visit ngaus.org.